become a Jew right now by marrying a Jewish woman and converting. Does my DNA then change? Why do I suddenly have the right to return? Of course not. Absolutely. But the people are saying that they are Semites today and are claiming you might be anti-Semite and I might be anti-Semite are not themselves Semites. Yes, I agree. That, yeah, that's what I'm 100%. saying. Yeah. percent and, um, and, and more important than that, because, you know, as you said, the same blood that runs in your veins runs in my veins, as long with all our brothers yeah, here, too. Yeah, we don't think we have special blood, and that's the difference. Yes, but these people, do you think our Lord be, may you be Christian, may you be Jewish or may you be Muslim or any other um, believer in a Unitarian God do you believe he might create somebody and say you are better than him no and this is the exact point this is, is the that primal sin that in Christianity they say it was Adam when he ate the apple that is not the primal sin was one it's Iblis is the name of the devil his name is Iblis it's not yeah, you know, yeah. I get what you're saying is that the, just this when, idea that a people are special yes is essentially that is evil religious yeah well, to say you are better than me because you're blonde yeah. you're better than me because you're taller well, you're I, better than me because you attended back. in the gospel of John Jesus confronted this problem with the Pharisees yes the Jewish leaders and they said hang on we are special because we have the seed of Abraham we are in other words our DNA is from Abraham yeah. Jesus said no your DNA yes. God does not favor special DNA he said it's your heart not and your it's DNA. Just, and, and, and this is why exactly, exactly the same. sorry back to me so well this is a real I've only really just clicked with this is that if you any of us consider the Jews as a race that are separate to us because but, well exactly I'm gonna I'm gonna make the case that they are not a race even though some of them claim to not be religious because they're atheists or secular right but they claim to be a race and I'm saying no they're not because the if today who are not even that they believe that they are a race that is separate from humanity because that is their religious belief they believe that they are a separate people who shall dwell alone if you agree with that and you see Jews as a separate way race then you have adopted their worldview and so that's why we say that the only solution for this problem is not some kind of intervention not some Hitlerish final solution you can only pray for the conversion of the Jews that's the only thing you can do because you need them to realize that what they're doing is wrong in Israel the Jews are in Israel doing the opposite of what Christ demanded. Why not though? Why can't they say they are all Jews? The Jews, because that's it. No, because they're not but they're Jewish. Jewish. <laughs> Jews as a race, they are not. They are not. I can call myself to be. Uh, now we're delving into something really deep, which is the question of whether Jews exist at all. Because, <laughs> and I genuinely mean it. Um, well, I, I agree with you. But the, but the question is, how do we solve this problem? Because we need to. Well, no, we by need recognizing to, this, mean the Jews are killing children in and wait let me speak the Jews are killing untold numbers of Palestinian children that is a fact that is factually correct and ye, and that's their narrative but which we need to fight against no that's our narrative but they're not Jews no let me tell you uh, he is they're Jews. pretending to be Jews. He is, I'm actually like with you this is the yeah, yeah. this is Thank you very much, and I appreciate it. But I'm, I'm more than happy to uh, elaborate on the difference between Ashkenazi Jews and Sephardi Jews. Yeah, the issue is to a barrage of accusations of racism. But my point is, I'm not wrong. So it's the guys who are calling me the racist for saying the Jews that are in the wrong. And that's the reason I stand on the box every week and say, no, but they are Jews. They are Jewish people yes, killing babies. Yes, the people who, who claim to be Jews, the people who say... Why? Whose feelings am I sparing? Because Israelis is the blood one Russians that live in Israel. For example, yeah. the Zionists... But why are we that's the it's, question. It's not accurate. I'm, it's not offended. I'm not offended. Okay. It's not accurate. No, let me, I would hate but you tell, to come and stab you on this let me tell line you. and argue it back. I want your argument to be solid and to be very accurate. If they stabbed me, then they'd get arrested by those guys over there. Can I explain to this man here? Hello. When we as Christians use the term the Jews, we're referring to not every single Jew in the world, but it really exists as a category, and it means the enemies of Jesus Christ. The Jewish leaders and those who follow their lead. And when we say the Jews, and that's it. And now, Nicholas, 
And we're not allowed to say it because it's called anti-Semitism. We love the Jews. They're our enemies, but we love them. And when you love someone, you have to call out their failings. And we think genocide is a big failing, plus other things. Now, there's other things. Like, it's not inaccurate to say that the Jews own the porn industry, because they do. They do. Um, it's not inaccurate to say that. Well, no, because it's not necessarily a link to Israel there, not an overt one. They're just Jews. That, in fact, it would actually be more offensive for me to say it's Zionists that run porn now, because exactly. it'd be like, well, okay, now you've inferred a link that Pornhub is there for the benefit of Israel, okay. which I would agree. Well, we don't know if Solomon Friedman, the owner of Pornhub, is a Zionist or not. He might not be, but he's a Jew. He's definitely a Jew. And that's the issue, is that people are, and we, I believe that it's sort of from sort of being guilted about the Holocaust, because I had a lot of Holocaust education when I was about 14. I got taken to Dachau and all sorts. I got it really drummed into me. And what's so disturbing about it is I thought that the point of all this Holocaust education was that if a situation like that flares up again, you can see it. Right? I thought that the entire point of, of being taken to Dachau, of being taken to whatever the Holocaust Memorial exhibit is in London where it's just piles of shoes and all that, I thought the entire point of Holocaust education was if a similar comparable situation crops up again, you'll be inoculated against it, you'll be able to see it, you'll be able to spot who's being dehumanized, again, and you'll stand Thank exactly. you. Well, not so, never again not for a certain. Well, so I was just going to say the Jews are still using the Holocaust or their Holocaust to justify what they're doing now. They are. And exactly the the same. Same. Can I give a good example on that? Uh, I, mean, I, I believe the Jews need to leave Palestine with the oh, very... The solution. It is. Like, no, but, like because you're prioritizing... By saying that's not a solution, you've prioritized the Jewish right to do what they want over the Palestinian right to life, no. as evidenced by the when, last year. When we talk about solution, it should be possible and it should be rational. It's like you say... Why that, is it not okay. rational? It's like you say that, okay, all the, the, uh, the solution to the, like, uh, the social problem to this country is that Muslims leave the country. That's not going to happen. But it's, I don't even that's view it as a country because it's so illegitimate. Now, Jews, Jews came to whatever area what you call it, Palestine? It is Palestine. It's Palestine. I don't accept the Zionist argument that Palestine was I, I never an official state. I don't care Palestine or Israel. I don't I care about It's Palestine. Israel, Israel is a blasphemous term. People. Yes. It's the same story. No, I want to kick, why, why, why I want to kick them out no, no, because no, there has I been no... Because, no, let okay. me... Let, now, see, this is my claim. <laughs> that, yeah, okay. So, free Palestine, brother. Yeah, because according to UN human rights, Every Palestinian should have the right of return. Every single one of them that's been kicked out since 1948. So we don't have justice until every Palestinian gets to go home to where their family is from. And that relies on maybe not the Jews leaving, but certainly the Jews are on show and I got wound up. I accidentally committed a hate crime on this plinth by saying that, right? And I'm very scared about it because organizations like the Campaign Against Anti-Semitism run by Gideon Falter, they scour through every bit of footage of anyone that stands up for Palestine to prove that they are, as you just said, a racist. Now, can you tell me the genetic component that is shared among all Jewish people? So basically, gen gen genetics is not important in this matter. Let me, is let me there one though? You just said race. You can't be a race genetic. if you don't no, share genetics. To me, to me just it's not a race if they don't share genetics. Overall meaning of the ra being racist is the, um, I judge them on their wretched belief system, so not on their you DNA. That you just need because I'm praying for them to convert. So if you convert to Christianity, that would be wonderful for me. So and your DNA is irrelevant. Jews in, in Israel, yeah? huh? um, well, a messianic, well, it's a very strange yeah. thing because a messianic Jew technically is a Christian, according no. to my conception, but they seem to support a blasphemous project which is Israel. So they're a bit weird. I don't really know. And they're also an anomaly. Uh, yeah. they're also mean, are, they, are these people baptized? Messianic Jews? Yeah. Well, I you're, mean, not, they, you're not a Jew then. You're a Christian. You're a Christian. And yeah. you can't be both. I mean, they accept Jesus Christ so, as so Savior. They, they, call, they call themselves this name who, you know, convince people. Well, they're the Jesus Jews. Jews. It's a Jew brigade, yeah. aren't yeah. they? It's, it's Christian, but <laughs> it's not Jewish. They're, they're mutually yeah. exclusive. Uh, the fundamental point is that the Jews, whether you like me saying that or not, they are, or, 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 or at the, at the very least, Jews. I will remove the the and say at the very least Jews, even though I shouldn't. No, 
because it's the majority, and I'll tell you why. Basically, every Jew in Israel or Palestine supports it, and the majority of the Jews around the world do too. So we can find the Orthodox Jews that go down to the Palestine marches, but they are a minority. Just as I said earlier, if, if a woman is infertile and cannot have babies, that does not make her a man. And this is the just same thing. No, but what I'm, say what I'm saying is just because you, similarly, like just because some women aren't able to have babies, that doesn't preclude the existence of women as human beings that give birth to children. Just because you can find Jews that don't support the state of Israel, it doesn't mean that Jews aren't manifesting as. Zionism is the biggest manifestation of Judaism on planet Earth. So trying to say that Judaism is unrepresentative in any way, or Zionism is unrepresentative of Judaism is nonsense. Because the vast majority of Jews on Earth support this madness, which the rest of us can see as a Holocaust. I mean, it is scary. It's scary when they bring their arguments and say, so you're fine with this thing that Hamas did. And I'm like, well, technically I support the right to armed resistance, so I'm not really allowed to be against it. But you seem to be fine with 10% of the Palestinian population being murdered in a year. Majority children killed with one shot to the head and one to the heart. Like, you should have had your heart broken in the last year by footage. Hopefully, you should be on Twitter. And, yeah. And do you know what the footage I see is of Jewish people? Did everyone see this hostage that returned in her yellow bikini? Was anyone disgusted by the, fir the first thing she did? Where, like, this is a woman who was in Palestine for a year. She got to watch it firsthand. She appears to have gone back to Israel having gained weight and the first thing she did was got off her nut at a Psytrance rave because that's all they seem to do and I find it incredibly disgusting and offensive that this is called a country when what it is is a walled terrorist fortress where they cannot stop having methadrone fueled Psytrance orgies. That's the truth of it. If I were a Palestinian and I'd been kicked out of my house and told to live in Jordan by a bunch of Jews and what they were currently doing was taking a load of drugs and having Psytrance orgies in my house, maybe I'd be anti-Semitic too. This man maybe I would. Do you want to, you go ahead, yeah. this man. Do you allow me to speak? Well, the point of speaker's corner is that I have the right to get on my box and rant. Um, and everyone else has the right to do you, that. Yeah, you, you are allowed question, to respond. Right? You are allowed to respond. However, it's only ever Zionists that dominate the conversation. So that's what we're going with. So whatever uh, situation we go through, one, one person dominates the conversation. So we should have a time each time. Well, yeah, but why should it be you minutes. over everyone else here? That's the point. Have you got another question? Don't waste time. Has he got a question? So I said, what's your solution to the Israeli and Palestine conflict? I told you. Because what Can happened in that? Palestine... I, I actually gave let's, you... Let's, I would say, let's give him credit. Let, just let me just speak. Man. Well, you, you asked that you, question you, earlier. He just no. shouted for five you, minutes. You oh, he's on the pin. Hang on. You, you asked that question earlier. Said he's answered it. You asked the question earlier. I have already answered it, which yeah. was either... Uh, can I just say, I can't Jews believe... I just said... It's too early. There's a genocide going on, and you want to know about what's going to happen after. I'd say genocide first. If way. someone is uh, see right. house is on anyway. fire, you way, man. you don't start Good stuff. about it. Just yeah, you know, I'm stuck to me on the phone. Awesome! Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's it going, mate? Right, now I understand. Yeah, now I've got your face. I'm right, I'm right. Well, I'll send you videos. Sir. The crew is growing. That was quite nice. That was, that was gentle compared to the last one we had. That was gentle, but I think... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think we understand it now, which is that, like, even Arabs and Muslims are offended by this phrase, the Jews. Like, I definitely, I've definitely had it with, um, like, Muslim preachers here. That they are much more scared to say that than I am. And I want to understand why, because for me it's been quite a quick learning curve about Zionism, but the Muslims have grown up with it. They know, they know. And yet I think they know how dangerous it is to say the Jews, so they're locked into a bit of a paradigm where they don't. And I'm saying, come on, we've got to stand up now. We've lost our crowd, so we can have a nice little break. We can help them to understand what is meant by the term. It doesn't include all Jews, we know that. It's the Christian way of describe it. The Jewish leaders and those who follow their lead. In other words, organized Jewry that claim to represent all the Jews and have a political identity and political power. The idea that, that can't be spoken about is obscene, uh, is, is ridiculous. It's even, a dis it's even disrespectful to the Jews because uh, as a Christian I have a duty to speak about my enemies. I love them, 
because Jesus said love your enemies, but not to be able to identify them, that, that doesn't make sense.